I'm also the supervisor of Thorn Township. So when do I have time for little people? I don't. They beneath me. They beneath me. Yeah, that's a super city girl mayor, aka Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, aka Port Chop Mayor. She's saying that everybody is beneath her. She is the mayor of Dalton and she's a supervisor of Thornton Township. She is going on Facebook. She changed her bio, saying that she's the most powerful woman in the Southland of Chicago. And she went on Chicago radio saying that she is above everybody and everybody is beneath her. She's been upset for the longest, but she really got mad when the Tahoe paperwork came out. Remember that Chevy Tahoe that she lied about saying that she did sign for it? Over $149,000. She sat up there in the meeting and lied and said that she did not sign for it. Okay, so since trustee Belcher came out with the receipts, came out with the paperwork, she decided that she will lock out the trustees from my viewpoint. Now, you may ask, what is my viewpoint? My viewpoint is a database. It allowed all the officials to have complete transparency. They're given access to go in and see everything that's purchased, all the contracts, all of the money being spent in the village of Dalton. Well, guess what? Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, she retaliated against the Board of Trustees. She's already known for kicking them out. As mentioned previously, she's kicked them out of Village Hall several times. Well, this time, she kicked them out of my viewpoint. So now there's no more transparency and none of the trustees are able to see what she's spending money on. I already showed you how she's out here signing for checks with one signature when it requires two. But now the trustees are not even able to see anything at all. So this woman and all of the criminals that work for her, they have full access to all of the money. They're spending it and nobody can overlook and see what's going on because she kicked all of the trustees out of the system and there's no way they can look it up. It's disgusting, and the lady is on the radio telling everybody that they're beneath her. I'm also the supervisor of Thorn Township. So when do I have time for little people? I don't. They beneath me. They beneath me. Absolutely crazy. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates. Not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and take a look at Trusty Belcher. She's explaining what happened after the news came out about that $149,000 Tahoe. You have to see this for yourself. Take a look. We're going to keep going and keep moving for the residents because that's what we were elected to do. We were elected to protect you. We were elected to protect the finances, and we're going to keep doing it. Question. Can you explain my viewpoint to the residents who don't know and what happened with my viewpoint? Yeah, you always trying to start something. Uh, so when we got in office, um, we got this um, software called My Viewpoint because it was based on transparency. So I'll, I'll let y'all guys know what's going on. You'll be able to see the receipts. We'll be able to see the checks issued to the receipt. So it's very transparent on when we get a warrant list, we can see what we're paying for which I thought was a wonderful idea. I use it to, just like second nature to me. So, um, the lease came out. <coughs> uh, Trustee Belcher always get us in trouble. I got us put on the floor. What else, what else, Jason? I always get us in trouble. When Trustee Belcher said that she got them put on the floor, she's talking about how the mayor got upset with her, so she made all of the trustees move from the top where they used to sit next to her. She put them all on the floor. When again, the mayor and the trustees, all of those positions are there to have a balance of power. But when you have a woman who's saying that she's the most powerful woman in the South End of Chicago, when she thought her authority was being challenged, she moved all of the trustees to the floor so she could sit above them. She's playing psychological games. But the lease came out and of course, yes, I got the lease from in my viewpoint. I was looking and I'm like, what does all these electronic payments and stuff like? So I went and clicked on the vendor and pulled up the lease. Now I drive a Tahoe, courtesy of Kiana though. And I seen that Tahoe and it said the uh, payment amount was $2,400 a month. I said, good Lord. So I started looking at all of the leases. And I said, I paid $150,000 for a Tahoe? I looked at the down payment, which was $9,991, and we still paying $2,400. So I, I 
brought it up in the meet. And she said, ain't nothing wrong with no leases. Yeah, we leased it. For a lease? For a lease. Okay, we're leasing any vehicle here in the village of Dolph. But it shows how financially irresponsible people can be. Because then they go and say they may not own it and they sign it and all that. So we go to, now it's time, last Friday, to get the new warrant list. So I'm like, okay, it's Friday. Let me let me click on my viewpoint so I can see what she done bought this week. Access denied. Ooh, wow. Or did. So I sent an email. Send an email saying that, you know, access has been denied. Can you let, let us know? Trusty House sent an email. She said, send back your questions of what you uh, what you're asking about. Tiffany Teflon Tahoe is very low. She got upset that she got questioned about that Tahoe, so she denied access to them when they're supposed to have it. These are the board of trustees. It's their responsibility to make sure that their checks and balances, that they're looking after the budget, you know, the one that she completely destroyed. She's got them in a $5 million deficit. And once again, she's treating them like they're her baby daddy. You are not dealing with your baby daddy or one of your criminal boyfriends. You are dealing with other elected public officials and she is not supposed to do this at all. So meaning that they're probably not gonna let us back into my viewpoint, but it was based on transparency. You said when we started that this is for transparency, so we can be transparent, so we can know what we're paying for. But now they're seeing that when, you, when you're putting those things in, it's showing how you're spending the money, and you don't want us to show how you spend the money. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. The Super City Girl Mayor just won't stop. How do you get mad and block access to public records when you're working for the public? You're being paid by the taxpayers. And on top of that, you're mismanaging and outright stealing from taxpayers. Time and time again, you're kicking out other elected officials that they don't agree with you. You kick them out of Village Hall. And now you block them from the financial software so they can't see what you're doing. She's only been blasted for about 1% of her crimes. She's done so much that we haven't even covered yet. You would think that she will slow down, but she's turning the heat up. So pork chop catfish nugget Mayor Tiffany, your day of harassing and retaliating against your colleagues, employees, and citizens will come to an end. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Shout out to T.O. watching from Tanzania, as well as the brothers Dark Power and Nathaniel. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. I'm also the supervisor of Thorn Township. So when do I have time for little people? I don't. They beneath me. They beneath me.